this look. Ooh. I'm gonna get the lip, the uh, lip products from one. Oh, did I use Posh Spice this morning? No. No, I did not. Use Manic. Okay. I was like, I don't know. Did I say I went to <laughs> use the wrong one on Insta? Oops. Okay, so for the eyes. Sometimes I like to take my inner corner and go way up here because I don't know. I feel like it just makes it. If that's even. I don't know how to explain it, so like, best I get. Lipstick moved a little bit today, but for the most part, that did really good. It stayed on her wall. I'll show you the lipstick in a minute. So here's what we use: is the Helia. It's the Odin's Eye Helia palette with Angelica. And here's our inside. Ooh, love this. Love this color, color theme. So I did the shade. I did, okay, so I did the Ombrors. Oh, uh, so I butchered that. I did this shade. And then I went to the shade Rebirth. I can't butcher that one. Which is right above it. And this darker outer shade is the shade Soot. So I go into the same shades I always go in here. So when I use this again, I need to go into the shade Wolf, Kelia, and Moss. Because I haven't used those shades. And the shade Complete. So there's four shades I still need to use. So all the inner corner here is the shade. What did I go into? Retracing steps. I went to the shade. Blah, 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 blah. I went to Golden Bridge. And then the outside here is the shade River. An inner corner, if you haven't guessed yet, is double sided. Because that is, that is gorgeous. But that's the palette I used today. Let me tell you, see what I used tomorrow. Let me put it back up. And lips is the JSC Mannequin Lip Liner. I actually had to sharpen this today. Uh, if you want a real nice sharpener for eyeliners and lip liners, this little, this Urban Decay one is great. Someone I was, someone who was posting their makeup setup and stuff had this, and they said that was it, and I was like, ah, gorgeous, got it. Ten dollars, I think, best ten dollars ever spent. I think I've had it like the last two years i think now still going strong also hold on i'm off topic here a little bit Ooh, wrong side gotta pick that up oh, that's the right side because of this little scoop thing too right here so you can just shink 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 get out all the little stuck stuff and now i've got a bit of a mess it's okay i will pick that up And then the lipstick on top of the lip liner, because I got distracted, is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream in the shade Latte Foam. And let me tell you what, this is great. Is it transfer proof? No. Does it move around a little bit? Yes, it does. And the lipstick's defense, I eat. I be eating and drinking stuff, so... That makes a little bit of sense. But it doesn't move too much. Just a little bit. I like it. Also, because I'm not too much of a reviewer. This foundation from NYX. The NYX Bear With Me Blur. I like it. It held up pretty well. And then, I like this one too. It's a matte concealer. It makes my under eyes... A little dry but you can't really tell unless you're real up close but I like how it looks so I'll have to try this with more foundations but this is so far so good it's a little drying under your eyes but that's fine nothing to bother me I'll still use it okay so let's go to Tuesday's look all right this is Tuesday's look very pretty I use two palettes for this I start off with the 
ColourPop Agon Matte Palette using the shade Cushion Cut PJs and Roll Around. So those are the mattes used. And then I went to Beauty Bay Love Notes for the shimmers. So for the inner part of the lid, here is the shade Princess. And we went to Cupid. And the inner corner is the shade Chandelier. So gorgeous. I love the look today. It came out very pretty. And it lips. And it pretty much lasted all day. You can tell. I was going to swatch what I had on. Most of it's gone. But I don't feel like reapplying. So we have Posh Spice. Lip liner from Jeffree Star. Paired with. Sephora cream lipstick in the shade Taurus. So that's what our lip combo was for today. Gorgeous lips. Love it. Alright, so that's our Tuesday's look. So now let's go to Wednesday. And this is our Wednesday look. do that I go real close so you can see like the reflex and to get like the actual shimmer because I know that the lighting can be tricky and make something look better than what it actually is so if you're wondering why you'll that's why that's it <laughs> that's the only reason so before I forget to tell you what's here it's a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Shade Trap. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. I love this. I can see myself using this up this year. That and what are lipstick? There's one more that's on my list here. Oh, it's right here. It's a Juvia's Muted Lipstick. This too. Perfection. Oh, I'm just sitting here before I forget. I wanted to pull out something for my makeup area and then never pulled it out. And it's pulled out now. Okay. All right, so let's get to where we're here for. Is the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. This is a great palette. I did not hit pan and I didn't hit pan. <laughs> I think she came a little broken. It's okay. Sometimes when you buy stuff like this, it's a it's risky business. 50-50 chance. 50% is going to get here okay. 50% she's coming a little muffed up. Like I had one palette coming like six, seven shades. I got them all pushed and smushed in there, but. Oof. Okay, so here in the crease is this shade right here. And then I went over to this nice like purple blue shade like purpley periwinkle is it periwinkle is that what you call that i don't know i think it's called periwinkle you can correct me if i'm wrong i don't care and then i went into the black shade so that's all the mattes on the eyes and now shimmers um this is in the inner part of the eyelid right here and then this little dark shifty one is this shade my hair is on that it's this one and then the inner corner highlight is this broken shade you see how pretty that is out of the pan you can't really get a good good idea from here but here here's what's on the inner corner it's that broken shade the other broken shade looks like this just a shimmer. I like a little nude champagne. Yeah, 
So that is our Wednesday look. So let's go to, oh, eyeliner. See, ColourPop. This is in, what's this one called? Teaspoon. Why is it called Teaspoon? Or Teaspoon's Green, perhaps? I mean, I have teaspoons, but they look normal. I don't know why it's called Teaspoon. Maybe I'm... Yeah, it's called Teaspoon. I don't know. <laughs> it's an odd name. It's okay. All right, so let's go to our Thursday look. So today's look... more of a neutral orange it's more orange than neutral I thought than what I thought it was gonna be so and it is the Be Perfect Carnival 3 of Tahiti palette so I started off with the shade ginger then went into sand and then I have the shade black beach on the outer corner. Listen, if I hit any shade first in this palette, it's the black shade. And I went to NYX Ultimate Top Utopia for the shimmers. So all, all over the lid is this bottom shade right here with the inner corner I went back into the other palette. So I only used one shade from here. I went to shade rose pink for the inner corner shimmer. So that's our eye look. Not too shabby. Sure looking nice. Cat's going wow. I love it. And then lip today is the shade NYX Shine Loud Global Citizen. Go on, what are you doing? Hey, get away from yours. Go on. Cats, man, I'll tell you what. She isn't a playground. She's not a jungle gym. Come on. Sit down. Thank you. Okay. So, anyway, that's today's look. See what happens when I do skincare even one thing a skincare i get cystic acne and then i get real big pimples and that was a real big pimple that sucker hurt anyway all right so let's go to friday did i tell you this was thursday's look thursday's look so let's go to friday look all right so this is friday's look it's the final look of the week so here she is we're a little creased on this eye okay perfect on the other but you can't really tell though because I have hooded eyes see but when I raise my brows it's not hooded really and then relax the brows and now we're hooded again <laughs> Ow. okay so the palette we have on our face I will be quick with this because I have a migraine, my head feels like it's gonna explode and I need to take some Excedrin, so. Oh yeah, I made this shirt. That's it, that's all I had to say about that. <laughs> I used the Beauty Bay Midnight Palette this morning. And I started off with the shade. Where is it at? Rich. Started off with the shade Rich. And I went to the shade Dream, which is just like this pink purple. And on the outer portion here is the shade Twilight. And then the inner portion of her eye right here is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and the shade Moonwalk. It looks much better in person than it does. It just looks like plain gold, but over here on this side, it's like a shifty green gold. If you've seen it in, like, person, it's a beautiful shadow. It just doesn't show very well on screen. And then 
for the outer portion, the dark blue is the shade Queen. And an inner corner highlight there is what would, would it go into? Into sky. So I went to here. Just a very light tap and blend. But that is the eyeballs today. And then lips. Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Party Goer. Although right now I'm going to be a party pooper. <laughs> but I'm done. I was going to film my shop, my stash tonight, but I'm doing that tomorrow. Because the light from your ring light, my hair being up, and my vanity light is killing me right now. So, yeah, thank you for watching this week's uh, weekly palette recap. What looks? Let me know which one's your favorite, which one was your not favorite. It's okay if you didn't like any of them, that's fine too. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.